Hey everybody, I am back. Um, I'm here to film the much coveted, very much requested uh, packing tutorial video. So I think it was probably a year and a half ago now. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and find the picture, but it was a trip I had done uh, to Europe and it was from I did London, Malta, and Sicily. So it was like a 10 day overall trip. And I had packed one carry on for that trip and I put the picture up on Instagram. I'll put the picture over here. Um, and a lot of people were asking me how in the world did I pack one carry on for a 10 day trip to Europe? So that's what I'm gonna be showing y'all. This is it, this is the size of the carry on. You see it's like the size of my torso, yeah. So I'm going to show you how I pack everything that I need for, this is going to be a nine day trip to Jamaica um, in one carry on. So stay tuned. And we have my packing buddy. Come on, packing buddy. Come on. We have my packing buddy today, Enzo. So if you hear noise in the background, it's this little bugger. It's my nephew. So we're going to pack our carry on. I moved down to the floor so that you all are able to see better for what we have going on. So this is the carry-on that I use. I don't remember, I know I got it from Macy's and the brand is like Amica or something, but I'll link the exact like brand um, in the description bar below so that you all can know that. Um, usually for airlines, you know, you wanna put your carry-on in an overhead compartment or overhead bin, whatever you call it. So those usually, um, dimensions change airline by airline, so make sure you look at your airline's website for the dimensions that are available um, for the max of what you can carry but it's usually like 22 to 24 inches it's about to my knee here so that's how we know that we are good to go and now I'm gonna show you how to stuff everything you need for like nine to ten days so this is what my suitcase looked like before I came to film um so this is about as much room you see I got some extra extra room here so this is about what everything would look like. Obviously, I'm gonna pack it up neater, but just wanted to show you all kind of the space we're working with. And Enzo wanted to show y'all too. So hopefully you all can see. I tried, I literally was over here for like 20 minutes trying to get the best angle so you can kind of see above for like what we have going on in the suitcase here. So I hope, I hope this is the best angle. I had to put Enzo up because he was in my way. So that's him in the back. So, you know. He was in my way. And I was trying to make sure y'all could see everything. I usually have what I like to call an airport outfit. So this is what I would typically wear. Hopefully you can see me. Ooh, making knees. This is what I would typically wear. Um, shirt and leggings. And then I wear my sneakers that I want to bring on the trip. Because I always recommend bringing one pair of like closed toed shoes. You never know what you'll need closed toed shoes for. So that's what I wear to the airport. So that my heaviest items aren't packed in my bag. If that makes sense. So bring a pair of sneakers always that's what i wear to the airport and then i use this same airport outfit i wear it to the airport then when i get to where i'm going i, wa I take it off i wash etc and then change into like anything that i would have packed over here and then on the way back i wear the same outfit to the airport i, I literally call it the airport outfit i always bring a fanny pack and i'm that type of person um because a lot of people when they travel abroad which is people are thieves everywhere not just abroad people people thieve but I obviously, like, you know, if you were in a fanny pack, carry it like this, you know, in front of you. Um, so that, you know, you can have your, your items that you most need, like, closest to you. Rather than, like, how people be carrying them in the back. That, that is low-key how you get robbed anywhere. Because I hate the stereotype that people get robbed more abroad. It's not true. People, people are like, a thief and a lion, a lion, a thief. People thief everywhere. <laughs> this, honestly, for me, only works during summertime. If I were to attempt to do this in wintertime, it would not work. This only works when I'm dressing naked because I'm out and about. <laughs> when I'm out and about in the Caribbean or in the summertime, you know, it's hot, like you can do this. Some people can do this in wintertime. I personally have not been successful with packing a carry-on during wintertime. I've only been successful during summertime. So now we're ready to get the rolling and the tuck in. So I'm gonna show y'all the method that I use for that uh, to get everything that I need for a nine, 10 day trip. Um, in the summertime <laughs> um, in my carry-on. Um, I personally like to do denim first because denim is the heaviest item usually that I have. So that'll go in the bottom 
here, so hopefully you can see that. Like here's a pair of denim shorts that I would wear. Short shorts, we go to the Caribbean, don't nobody, no need to cover nothing up, show it off, it's summertime. I would just take it like this, take it like this, and then literally roll it like a burrito, <laughs> as literally as tight as you can and get all of the air out. So that it's kind of like this, or like elote corn or something like that. Yeah, so I would roll it up literally tight like this, it would be in the bottom like so like that. <laughs> um, like I said, denim I try to put on the bottom because it is the heaviest um, item that I usually have in my suitcase. So that's what I usually do there. So, and you see since I have three pairs, I put one on the top. So it's kind of like a pyramid. That is the, the medium wash, light wash, dark wash. Hopefully you can see this try my best, but you see how it's stacked like this. Um, and then since I have two pairs of like biker shorts, you see how I have the three in the middle? I'm gonna put the biker shorts on either side and then all of my shorts are going to be like in the same area. So like when I open my suitcase, I'm like, okay, like bottoms here, tops here. Do you see what I'm trying to like go for like with the organization? So I kind of just horseshoe it around. So you see it's horseshoed around. So you see how it is there. So as you see, we just packed up all of the pants in there. I would say um, for people who really aren't like big on dresses or rompers, just pack all your denim in the bottom like so, um, so that the heaviest stuff is at the bottom. And you can definitely fit six, seven, eight, nine pairs of denim in a carry-on, but if you're going for nine days, I would say probably like five pairs of shorts max, just because you can rewear denim. You don't need to have like the freshest pair every day, unless that's you, but if that's also you, you gotta keep in mind, if you wanna use one carry-on, something has got to give, and it's usually the heavier items, so that's why um, denim, I don't try to pack too much of, um, but now I'm gonna show you how I do my shirts, and same situation, I have like, an assortment of like seven or eight crop tops here. So I would say I use the same like roll and tuck method. Like I said, I don't iron before I leave because there's no point. It's gonna be wrinkled in the suitcase, iron when you get there. Um, but I use the same roll and tuck method. And you see I got a lot of like summer colors and variety. So we're just gonna pack all this up. So similar, and I'm not the best folder either. <laughs> keep, keep that in mind. I, I do not like folding clothes, but I just kind of do this here. And then I fold it in, like the shirt in on the side, kind of like that. And then I fold it one more time so that it's like this. And then I do the same thing where I roll it up. And you get one of these right here. And then you just start placing them in your suitcase right in front of your bottoms and denim and everything that you packed. Here, so we're just gonna do that for the rest of this pile and I'll show you what it looks like once we're done. We have all of our denim in our shirts in this corner and you see how much room we still have left to pack? This is how you can get it done and see how much more we have left to pack? Not too much. Okay, so now we're gonna do the dresses and romper section. Like I said, uh, if you don't like, you know, the kind of clothes that I wear, like, you know, crop tops, dresses, rompers. This still works um, if you're more like wanting to wear just like shorts. Uh, jeans though, like full leg length jeans, I would probably only wear like, or bring two pairs just because denim is heavier. And when it's a full length jean, it's gonna take up more room in your carry on. But this can definitely work for different types of clothes that uh, all people like to wear. I'm just showing you all what I typically wear when I'm packing, so keep that in mind. Take it like how we did, same thing with the shirts. Fold one side, fold another side, and then fold another side so it's one long length like this, like so. And then we're just going to roll it tight like we did the same thing. Shorts, um, the crop top, same thing. You get this little ball. So I'm just gonna roll up all my dresses. Um, what I would say is like, Create a layer on the bottom. Oop, my knee's in the way. 
Create a layer on the bottom here and then another layer on top. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, Cause you can see this is, this is the top layer and then like the yellow is kind of like getting towards the bottom and the pink is like the bottom layer. So you kind of have like layers stacked of clothes as well. So you can get room width wise and then height wise as well. So see, we have a nice stack and we still have a whole other side of room, but you can see the layering method as well. How we have stuff on the bottom and stuff on the top. So next on our list is gonna be like smaller items like uh, pajamas, um, undies, uh, swimsuit, stuff like that. So um, what I do for that, I'm gonna show you right now. So since my pajamas are like a little bit larger, um, I got this matching set. Um, this is what it's like. You're gonna do the same type of situation. Fold, fold. So fold once, fold again, and roll it up. Swimsuit. So for swimsuits, obviously I like to pair the ones that match together like so. I hope it's this. I think it's this one. I can't tell with these she and thongs and stuff. I don't really know which way is the right way to be honest. But anywho, I literally just like to fold in the sides like that. And then you see we have the bottom piece like that. So that it's kind of like flat. And then I like roll this, if that makes sense. So that it's like this little teeny teeny like ball situation and then I'll put the ball in like the top and like roll that all together and then you see you can use the strings to like keep it together so that look you have your two matching sets right here and it's not that big a space to take the undies what I usually do is I'll layer everything. So let me, so you know you have however many undies for your trip, right? So I'll literally just like evenly lay them out one by one. This works for however many undies you have. It doesn't matter like how many undies you have, but this is what I like to do because there's no point to be like rolling them all individually. I try to order them by like, size so i put like the bigger panties in the back and then the smaller like thongs and stuff for like you know dresses or like seamless stuff like the thinner stuff i try to put in the front if that makes sense so i try to sort by size as well you have like a huge panty stack like this you see all the panties so take the stack and roll once the stack together <laughs> so you literally have like a panty burrito type situation but you see, it doesn't take up a lot of space when you do it like this. So this is how I like to do it. And then like I said, I literally travel with one, one bra, one strapped bra, and one strapless bra, and that's it. Because it is 2021, free to nipple. And now you can see all of the clothes in here are done. And I still have extra room. So this is what it looks like. So you see, I still have extra space in here. I still have some extra space up top. So we're gonna do the toiletries and the shoes and then we are ready to go. So if you know me, you know like I'm really, really big on skincare. So I have minis of all of my skincare products. I specifically buy minis. Most of my products come from like Sephora or this website called like Style Korean. Um, but I put all of my minis in like this little bag, like I <laughs> said, Ziploc bag. I have not invested in the little organizer bags or whatever that the girls be calling them. So I like to do the little mini toothbrushes. I get these in a two pack from Target cause you see you can do it like this. And then it's also protective. Love these. And they come in like packs of twos at the, um, like the travel essentials aisle at Target. Got my face wash, got my moisturizer. And you see these little, um, these are shrink wraps. Um, so that when they're traveling and stuff like that, stuff doesn't get messed up. And I just cut off the shrink wrap and I bring me a little bit of shrink wrap with me to do the same thing when I'm returning home. Like there's no science or whatever to this. I literally just throw it in the bag. And you're good literally as long as everything that you have is in a one ounce or three ounce, I don't remember, container. However, 
I will note that when traveling to Europe, this size bag is too big for all your liquids. You need a size bag that's like half of this. It's like literally like this, I think, is like the size of the bag that they'll give you to put all of your liquids in Europe. And they're very specific, like makeup, like even like your concealer and stuff like that, like you have to fit in the bag. So I've definitely have had to throw some stuff away when I've been traveling in Europe because it it will not fit, like my bag will be fit to the brim. Like sometimes people are really sticklers and they'll count like lipsticks and stuff. So keep that in mind. This is traveling to the Caribbean, so this is gonna be okay. But when you're going to Europe, that's why I definitely try to get the one ounce bottles so they're as small as possible. I think that's why I'm confusing one ounce and three ounce. Because I think in America it's three. I think you go to Europe, it's one. And in Europe, you, the bag is literally like this, this big. <laughs> so you got to fit everything in this little bag when you go to Europe. Make sure you get the air out. Zip it up. And that's literally where I utilize the other side of my suitcase and place it right in there like that. You know that moment you realize you did something? I packed my whole suitcase backwards. <laughs> I literally packed my whole suitcase backwards. So this zippy part is usually where I put shoes, toiletries, etc. The part that I can like clip like this is usually where I put my clothes. Um, but I've never filmed myself packing before, so I probably just got flustered and put everything over here. Am I gonna switch it for the purposes of this video? No, y'all get the y'all get the gist, right? <laughs> y'all get the gist. But for my personal purposes, I definitely pack my stuff backwards. But it's okay. We move. Makeup, I got this little bag from Target. I'm not gonna take all my makeup out. But you can see kind of like what I have in here. Um, um, like I was kind of alluding to earlier, I really don't pack foundation when I'm going to trips when I'm going to be on the beach a lot because I'm not going to be this color. I'll probably be this color the first day I get down there. Then after that, I'm going to be nice and chocolate and bronze and all of that. Just going to pack it up. But again, caveat, when you're traveling in Europe, some of your liquid like makeup and stuff would have to go into that like little bag like i said i wear my sneakers to the airport so they don't take up space these are my water shoes these in here flip-flops for the beach like i said and then two pairs of sandals because it's summertime it's hot like you know what i'm saying nude and black and my fanny pack in the airport like i said i keep that with me so like this is like my personal item on the plane so i don't have to put that in my carry-on um, things I haven't shown you all that I would also pack is like my vlogging gear, but that'll fit in there. And of course, like chargers, um, things like that, that I will put in the top part as well. But this is pretty much what we have going for. So like I was saying, usually I put my clothes <laughs> in this area and then I put my shoes and toiletries in this area because I like to zip it up because um, liquids like to move a lot. But you get the gist as to what it looks like. And over here in this little part is usually where I put like my charging cords and vlogging gear and stuff. I have even room here in this mesh part for other items. And got some more room for clothes and stuff here. So you can see we're all packed. We're ready to go. We're ready to go on our trip. Um, a couple of things that I would definitely know is, you know, make this work for you. This tutorial is definitely just like suggestions. It's not end all be all. Everybody packs differently. Everybody lives differently, dresses differently. So do what's best for you. But I hope that this gives you like a mindset that you can keep in mind of the stuff that you think that you need on your trip. You honestly probably don't need. And if you pack in advance, you can think through stuff a lot better and then be able to actually travel on a carry on. Um, on like a 10 day trip to like Europe or, or anything like that is what um, I would say. And I would definitely say, you know, have fun with it. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below, any comments, suggestions for a next like tutorial video or like what I do to travel. But until then, enjoy your flight. <laughs> okay, I know I had y'all friend locked up the most of the video because he, he was in my way, bless his heart. But you wanna say bye to the people? Say bye bye to the people. Say bye-bye. Say we're getting on our flight. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.